Hello, sports fans. This is the dog, H. Weber, with another edition of Weber on Sports Express here on FingerLakes1.com. Good to be with you. It's a great day, isn't it? Thank God for those seals and knocking out Osama Bin Laden. Let's start off with that right off the bat. Hey, secondly, golfers, you deserve it. Finally, after 44 days of monsoon rains, you got two days back-to-back to, back to play some golf at the nearby clubs. I understand Seneca Falls Country Club was busy. I understand Silver Creek was busy and many of the other courses in the area. Good for you. As you prepare to play golf, I know a lot of leagues are starting this week. Keep your head down, swing the club smooth. And if you really want to understand about the game of golf, I can send you a video of my good friend Brad Jones. Brad, many people pick on him for his swing. He's kind of got the hunchback of Notre Dame look. But he's got game, and he hits the ball like a rocket, a buck twenty off the tee. If you want to copy the video, Call us here at FingerLikes1.com. We'll get one right out to you. And if you don't believe me that Brad can play, just ask him. He'll tell you. Hey, speaking of golf, this is going to be our main topic on this edition. The South Georgia Classic was played this week down in Georgia. It's a nationwide tour. You know, when you sponsor a PGA event nationwide or whatever, Champions Tour or the PGA Tour, you have a right to have three or four sponsors exemptions. You can give them out to the baker, the candlestick maker, you can give them out to Waldo the Clown. But the South Georgia Classic folks decided to invite John Smoltz. Sound familiar? John, a great pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. But he's a pitcher. He's a baseball player. Yes, he's got a four or five handicap. But he played. Guess what? He was humbled. He said no regrets. He shot 84-87. Are you ready for this? Bulletin. He missed a cut by 27 shots. Give me a break. Sponsor exemption should go to people who aren't eligible to play in the event. Young kids that don't have any money yet in the bank. Old wily veterans who paid their dues who have fallen on hard times. They deserve the exemption. The difference is they carry a PGA card. John Smoltz carries a card. It's a Topps baseball card. Give me a break. These sponsors exemptions are ludicrous. It'd be like the USGA inviting the dog to play in next month's U.S. Open. I can shoot a buck thirty each day. Two sixty after two rounds. See ya. Stupid. Speaking of golf, I know a lot of people are big about the fitness. I have myself a little pot belly, size thirty-two tire. I'm proud of that. As I approached my sixty-sixth birthday a few days ago, but I believe there's great respect for the Camilo Vijaguses and the Tiger Woods and a lot of the other young bucks on the tour. Zero fat in their bodies. I don't like that. I got the belly. I want to support and follow guys that have a big belly. Brings me up to my next topic. Tim Heron, Minnesota, a.k.a. Lumpy. Why is he called Lumpy? Because he's got a big midriff. I like that. He has a cheeseburger and fries at the turn. I like that. He has a couple of coarse lights after he's done playing. I like that. Don't give me this hard big line about everybody's got zero fat in their system. I don't buy it. Most PGA Tour fans are like me. They got a belly. We're proud of it. Timmy Heron is struggling to stay on the tour. Right now he's 99th on the PGA money list, even though we know it's early. He's amassed 330 grand, not a bad salary, but folks, to become exempt for 2012, Timmy Heron needs to come up with 900 grand. That's what they're estimating. So I'm pulling like mad that Timmy Heron stays on the tour. He's not only a great guy, he's not only fun to be around, but he's got a pot belly. And I love that. And I know some of you agree with me. Well, you know something, folks? I gotta tell you something. I am thrilled with the NBA, what's happening there with Oklahoma and the Thunder taking on the Memphis Grizzly. That does so much for those NBA franchises. I don't care who wins that series. It's great for basketball. Get San Antonio out of here on the next Greyhound. They look old. They look lethargic. They deserve to get eliminated. My pick, by the way, I'm going with the chalk, the Lakers. Every week now, starting on this show, I'm going to be talking about my star of the week. It's going to be a local high school athlete or a local collegiate athlete. This week, I send out the star treatment to Union Springs sophomore Marissa Valentino. Marissa plays softball and other sports. But recently, she pitched a perfect game against Marathon. Union Springs won the game 18-0. A perfect game. 
Previous to that, she had thrown a one and a three hitter. Can she pitch? You better believe it. Can she hit? Absolutely. She went four for four in that game with a home run over the fence. My star of the week, Marissa Valentino, Union Springs. Hey, to all you moms, God bless you. Your big day coming up this week. If I had my way, you'd have Mother's Day every day of the year. You've done so much for us. By the way, Weber on Sports Express will move to a one day later next week. I'll be out of town, so if you're listening or looking for the show, it'll be Tuesday at noon instead of Monday, just for next week. Hey, folks, it's always a slice. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned. We'll be back next week with another edition of Weber on Sports Express. That's a look at sports my way.